the next question is uh, that is question number question number six. Now that's part two of the other question, question number six. Simplify the expression root three minus root two divide by root three plus root two. So when you are told to simplify this expression, do not panic. Just multiply the whole of this expression by the conjugate, multiply the denominator by the conjugate of this value. You multiply this value with its conjugate. And we said when you want to get a conjugate, you just change the sign. So here becomes root 3 minus root 2 divided by root 3 plus root 2. But you multiply by the conjugate, which is root 3 minus root 2. But you multiply it, the denominator and the num numerator. So numerator also multiply by root 3 minus root 2. Then you expand this. In expanding this, we have root 3 times what's, in the, what's, what's on the other side of the bracket. Root 3 into root 3 minus root 2. Here, then again this, minus root, uh, minus root 2 into, sorry, root 3 minus root 2. Then you divide by, this also you expand, you have root 3, multiply by what's on the other side of the bracket, which is root 3 minus root 2, plus root 2 into root 3 minus root 2. Root 3 times root 3 is root 9. Root 3 times minus root 2 is minus root 6. Just multiply what's inside the roots. Then root 2 times minus root 2 times root 3. Multiply what's in the roots, you get minus root 6. Then minus root 2 times minus root 2 you get plus, minus times minus is plus, root 4. Then you divide it by root 3 times root 3 is root 9. Root 3 times minus root 2 is minus root 6. Root 2 times root 3 is plus root 6. Then plus root 2 times minus root 2 is minus root 4. What do we get from here? Root 9 is 3. Minus root 6 minus root 6 is minus 2 root 6. You just pick the coefficient here which is 1 and 1. Add the 1's then maintain root 6. Then plus root 4. Root 4 square root of 4 is 2. Divide by root 9 is 3. Square root of 3 of 9 is 3. Then minus root 6 plus root 6 is the same as root 6 minus 6, which is 0. So we don't write the 0. Then we have minus root 4. Root 4 is 2, so it is minus 2. So from here, we have two pl 3 plus 2. You get 5 minus 2 root 6 divided by 3 minus 2 is 1. So we have 5 minus 2 root 6. This is our answer. But remember, we've been advised to write our answer in the form of A plus B root C. Sorry, root C. So our value of A, you can see A plus B root C. So our value of A, you just write A is 5. Tell the examiner that you know. Then B is minus 2. And then C is 6. So you finish, we finished with the subs. The next question is further logarithms. So that's question number seven. 
Question number eight. Question number seven. Further logarithms. Without using a calculator or a mathematical table, solve log x plus 5 to base 8 minus log x minus 3 to base 8 equals to log 4 to base 8. So when you are faced with such a challenge, number one, you identify if the logarithms have the same bases. Here they have the same bases, which is base 8. Number two, if they have the same bases, you collect the logs to the bases, to the same bases on one side. So you write log to base 8 into, write the value of the first value you are given, x plus 5. Then look at this sign. If it is minus in logarithm, when you collect logs to the same bases, you change it to be division. You divide by x minus 3 equals to log 4 to base 8. Then in mathematics, automatically the logs to the same bases will drop. Don't cancel them. Mathematically, if you cancel, it is not correct. So you don't say you divide by log to base 8, divide by log to base 8. You just drop them. When you drop them, you remain with x plus 5, divide by x minus 3, equals to 4. Because these are the same. Therefore, you cross multiply both sides by x minus 3. This side also by x minus 3. So when you multiply this by x minus 3, x minus 3 and x minus 3 will cancel. You remain with x plus 5 equals to 4 into x minus 3. From here we have x plus 5 equals to 4 times x is 4x. 4 times minus 3 is minus 12. Collect the like terms together. 5, if 5 is on this side. So you want to bring 12 on this side, it will become plus. Because it is minus 12, becomes plus 12 equals to 4x. Then bring x on the other side, becomes minus x. Therefore, this equation can also be written as 4x minus x equals to 5 plus 12. So this is 3x. 4x minus x is 3x equals to 5 plus 12 is 17. Therefore, x is equal to 17 divided by 3. That is the value of x. We finished it because they wanted us to solve it without using a calculator. So they want the value of x from this equation, which is 17 over 3. We go to the next question. And the next question, number eight, we have two, you are told to evaluate without using mathematical tables or calculators. So you are told to evaluate two log five to base 10 minus a half log 64 to base 10 plus two log 40 to base 10. Remember, this is evaluate, not solve. You solve only when it is equated to something. But when you are told to evaluate, it's as equal as simplify. This time around, I told you the first thing to check is to check the bases. The first question we dealt with the logs to base 8. Now we are dealing with logs to base 10. Number one, ensure that these coefficients, the constant values, you rewrite it in such a way that it goes back to its original value. So how was it before it became to this value? It was log 5, then you just bring 2 up, it becomes a power. Log 5 raised to power 2, 2 base 10 you maintain the base, minus this one becomes log 64 raised to power a half, 2 base 10, plus this becomes log 40, to base 10 raised to power 2. Then again I told you, you collect the logs together, collect the logarithms together. So when we collect this, we will have log to base 10 only outside the bracket. Then 5, 
squared. 5 squared is 25. But I had told you that when you see a minus sign because you've collected logs to base 10, you divide by 64 raised to power a half. A number raised to power a half is the same as finding the square root of that number. A number raised to power a third is the same as finding a cube root of that number. A number raised to power a quarter is the same as finding the fourth root of that number. So therefore, this becomes 64 raised to power a half times, because of plus, this becomes 40 squared. 40 squared is 1,600 from the calculator. Therefore, this becomes log to base 10 into 25 divided by the square root of 64 is 8 times this is uh, 1,600. So 8 here once, 8 here, 200. So here we have log to base 10. 25 times 200 is 5,000. So we have log, log, log 5,000 to base 10. We can further simplify this. You can see that this is the same as log to base 10 into 5,000 can be written as 1,000 times 5. When you split this, when you open it up, it's like you are going up to the initial relationship that we had. I told you when you see negative minus, you divide. When you see uh, plus, you multiply. So when you see multiplication, you add. So you can equally add this to be log to base 10 of 1,000 plus, because of this, log 5 to base 10. Then here, if we further simplify, 1,000 is 10 raised to power 3. When you want to get 1,000, you put 10 here. 10 into 1,000, 100. 10 into 100, 10 times. 10 into 10, once. So this is 10 times 10 times 10. 10 times 10 times 10. Raised to power 1, power 1, power 1. You only take 1 as the base, then you add the powers. 1 plus 1 plus 1. So this is 10 to power 3. So this is log of 10 to power 3 to base 10 plus log of 5 to base 10. So log 10 to power 3, you can drop this 3 down. It becomes 3 log 10 to base 10 plus log 5 to base 10. Any log to the, its base, log 1 to base 1 is 1. Log 2 to base 2 is 1. Log 10 to base 10 is 1. So log 10 to base 10, log 10 to base 10 is 1. Therefore, you replace log 10 to base 10 with 1. 3 times 1 is 3 plus log 5 to base 10. That is the simplified form of this equation. So you see the way it was long, and you see we can just get it as this value. 3 plus log 5 to base 10. We have finished with the logarithms.